came from Colony, Texas on the motorcycle this morning. Came out from Bedford. Not far down the road. Uh, here from Dallas, so not too, too terribly far. Uh, I came from Addison, so about 45 minutes, I guess. Yeah. And I'm from Fort Worth. If you see. I, I, I we're very humbled that um, all of you were able to get tickets in the hour and a half that tickets were on sale. Nice, yeah. Big industrial freezer that's full of hops. Please don't open it. It's about minus three degrees and and it has lots of hops that I'm trying to store so that we can use them and make wonderful, delicious beverages. <laughs> mill. Start all starts with milling, right? We want to mill grains, crush them drop them down into an auger, and this is a farm auger. Why is it a farm auger? Because a brewing auger is twice the price and it's the exact same piece of machine. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, there's a lot of changes that have been going on in the industry in the last two years, in the last six months. Um, you know, there's some people who are the thought that, okay, there's a plateau right out here, not very far away, that is gonna be the zenith at what can permeate the Metroplex as far as Brewers, um, but then there's also a school of thought that is, you know, as long as the, the the tide is rising, everyone will be able to get their share. Shift gears from what was I don't want to say the oldest because RAR holds that title right now, but Deep Ellum was really on the forefront of that second sure. second yeah. layer for you to come over here to the new kids. I'm just kind of curious what your school, what you think, what your thought is. Well, I mean, first of all, have you have you been to Portland? And then I just just last in November okay. I was in there. Yeah. So you probably seen the scene there, right? Absolutely. How big would you say Portland is? How many people? Maybe oh, 600,000 people or so. Under a million, right? Right. Of per capita, the most breweries, brew pubs, in the United States, easily. Per capita. Well, you think about it. They have, what, over 50 now? Yeah. DFW Metroplex is over seven, around 7 million people. So you think about if, if you did the same per capita, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of birds. There's plenty of room. Now the, the key difference is probably that you got a lot more brew pubs in Portland, and here there's a lot more production breweries opening up. But there's still so much room for that kind of growth. And as people get more accustomed to what craft beer is and what it tastes like and how much more enjoyable it is than BMC, you're going to see that that shift continues. Because yeah. if you have 5% of 7 million people currently drinking craft, and that moves up to, let's just say, 10%, you know, that still leaves a lot of room for increased growth. And you're seeing that day by day. You're seeing a lot of having Petacolas and Lakewood and Rabbit Hole be their top beers that are selling, and that's happening on a day-to-day on -day basis. So as that continues to permeate the entire DFW Metroplex, there's tons of room. There's room for a lot of us. Yeah. Thank you very much. We appreciate you coming. Um, please talk nicely about the beer. Yeah. If you don't like the beer, then come talk to me privately, and we will ask you to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Cheers! Bell.